funny hat that's what my blondie is lovable feet both flat that's what my dagwood is blondie's not always right i let her think she is all of my thoughts are bright long as he thinks they're his life for us is fun and crazy baby dumpling us and daisy what a family incredible bumsteadable <laughs> Hurry, you'll miss your butt. Watch out, you'll burn your stew. Nothing's too much for us. As long as with me there's you. Dagwood and Blondie. Blondie and Dagwood. Always with me there's you. Cigar. It smells like you're shoeing a horse. Oh, well, Mr. Dithers gave it to me before he went on his vacation. <laughs> well, it's awful. Why, oh, these cigars are two for a dollar. Well, Mr. Dithers must have kept the 95 cent one for himself. that on to uh, make me remember something very important. What? It, uh, uh, what is it you have to do? Uh, well, I, I, hmm, I, I can't remember what it was. Let's see. Oh. I hate to take you away from your book, dear, hmm. but you did promise to fix the whole carpet, remember? Oh, well, what's wrong with it? Needs tacking down. Oh, uh, but, well, do we have any tacks? Oh, yes, there's a whole box full out in the drawer in the kitchen. Uh, oh. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's what? That's why I tied the string around my finger so I'd remember what to do. <laughs> you mean to remember to tack down the whole rug? No, tacks. I gotta do my income tax. I'm gonna get to it right away. Who's that thing he gave me at the office? Oh, here. Salary earned $5,200. Tax with hell, $712. What's next? Uh, oh, other dependent relative, too. Other dependent relative. Uh, Blondie? Yes, dear? Uh, are the dogs dependent? Well, they certainly cost enough. Oh, no, no. I, I mean, can we deduct for them? Well, did you do it last year? Mm, I can't remember. Well, haven't you a copy of what you filed last year? Well, well, I can't find it, but it seems I did deduct something for the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Cookie and Alexander is all I'm allowed. $800. Hmm, now, what's next? Oh, medical expenses. Uh, uh, Blondie? Yes, dear? Uh, what did the doctor charge for Cookie's mumps? You can't deduct that. But why not? It says so right here. You can deduct medical expenses. I know, dear. But Cookie had the mumps this year. And you can't deduct this year's expenditures from last year's earnings. Oh. Yeah, but uh, how about the measles they both had? That was last year. You can't deduct that either. Why not? We haven't paid the bill yet. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Medical expenses, none. 
Let's see what's next. Uh, donations to charities. Uh, uh, how much did we give the uh, community chest this year? The same as last year. Well, uh, did we give anything to the Salvation Army? Yes, dear. Uh, what? Your old fishing clothes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your old fishing clothes. Look, Blondie, you, you can't deduct my old fishing clothes. I didn't say you could. You asked me what did we give to the Salvation Army, and I just told you. All right, all right, all right. Goodness. You made a mistake in your addition. I did not. You did, too. It's supposed to be $5,876. 66. 76. That makes a grand total of... 5,876. 5,876? Oh, no. No, but... Blondie. Yes, dear. Hey, hey, come here a minute, will you, please, honey? No, 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 that, that, this doesn't look right. What does it? Last year, we gave more money to charities than I earned. Oh, how could that be? Well, I don't know, but there it is in black and white, $5,876. Thanks, Daddy. I know I was right. Uh, what? Dagwood. What? That isn't the amount of our donations. It That's isn't? part of Alexander's homework. Oh. <laughs> how can anybody get any work done around here? This is my U.S. government income tax, and I am here. I, I, I'll get it. You sit down, darling. I'll answer it. Cool off now. Hello? What, Mary? Ollie's phone number. Oh, yes. It's Orchard 2837. That is a total of $96.28. No! 2837. 2837. That's right. Well, uh, how could it only be $28.37 when I gave $50 to the Red Cross alone? It, oh, no, 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 no. It, oh. Now what's the matter? Uh, uh, I, I, I got it all wrong again, Blondie. Look, dear, I, I, I wish you'd help me add up this list of donations. It, it came out 2837 this time. 2837? Yeah. That's Ollie's phone number. Uh huh? How did you get that? Oh, I don't know. I don't oh, know. Oh, I just gave it to Mary on the telephone. <sighs> Look, dear, I'm, hmm? I'll never get this thing done if I don't get some peace and quiet. Oh, all right. All right, I'll just wait until you've all gone to bed. It's almost ten. It's long past your bedtime, children. Come along. Okay, Mom. It's past your bedtime, too, kids. <laughs> I think I'll go upstairs with the children, dear. You won't stay out too late, will you? No. You, you see, dear, once I'm alone, I'll have it done in no time. Mm. Good night, dear. Uh, uh, good night, Blondie. Good night. Good night. Let's see. Now, where was I? Eight. And then... Where's... Daddy. What? Well, I just wanted to kiss you good night. Oh, oh yes. Uh, good, good night, dear. Yeah, and, and good night, everybody. Oh. Now, let's see. That's eight. Eight and four is twelve. Put down two and carry one. Dagwood. You can finish your income tax tomorrow. No, no, never put off tomorrow what you can do today. Dagwood, it's 5.30 in the morning. It's already tomorrow. So you can't put it off till tomorrow when today is already tomorrow, can you? It, huh? Oh, 
Bitte. considerate and make less noise. Yeah. Oh, for heaven's sake, get up and close the window, dear. Huh? Get up and close the window. Would you mind moving the noise down the street a little ways, please? These are tin cans, bub, not cream puffs. Yeah. Then come around a little bit later. The people in this neighborhood are trying to sleep. Now, ain't that too bad. We got to get up at 4.30. And if your old lady would feed you more fresh stuff, we wouldn't have to cart away all these cans. Yeah. What my old lady... Look, what my wife feeds me is none of your business. You, your salary comes out of the taxes I pay, and if you don't cooperate, you will make it my business to go to see the mayor about you. Come on, let's get going. Yeah! Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Dagwood, Dagwood, don't get into an argument. Come on, you've got to get your sleep. Come inside and close Blondie, the door. Blondie, I know my rights! Yes. Hey, Lunkhead! Uh, yes? <laughs> What? If you don't close your trap and get in the house, I'll make it my business to come over there and beat you to a pulp. Oh, if I were dressed, I'd take you up on that. The less you have on, the less they'll have to take off when you get to the hospital. Oh. Stop shouting, Herbert, and shut this window. Go on back to bed and shut your trap. Yes, Herbert. And now listen, Woodley. Now, now, I... quiet down, Dagwood. Come on in yeah. the house and close the window. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh. Now, go to bed and get some sleep. Remember, you have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. Yeah. Filling Mr. Dithers' shoes is a mighty important assignment, oh, you know. Blondie, I could run the office with my eyes closed. That's the way you'll be doing it, too, if you don't get some sleep. Yeah. Oh. Good night, dear. <sighs> Good night, Dagwood. Uh -oh. Huh? Uh -oh. oh. Huh? Oh. Dear, you haven't had a wink of sleep all night. Yeah. If it wasn't for the fact that you're in charge of the office, I'd suggest. Yeah, well, that you don't stay. worry, Blondie, dear. After I've had a cold shower, I'll be raring to go. Um, that way, darling. Oh. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Give me strength. Hey, Mom. Yes, dear? Look at Pop. <laughs> Raring to go. I'll get you kids next. Tune. Huh? Dagwood, you oh. haven't even touched your melon. What happened? You know, maybe you better call the office and tell them you'll be down later. 
Oh, no, I, I can't. I got the keys to the office in my pocket. Well, drink your coffee. That'll help wake you up. Well, I'm Go awake, on, Blondie. I'm... Go on, darling. Drink your coffee. Okay. See, you're awake already. Have the rest of your breakfast, dear. Oh, no, I, I won't have time to eat all that. Blondie, I gotta be at the office before 9 o'clock, and it's almost... 10 o'clock and no sign of that character. I had a feeling Mr. Dithers was making a terrible mistake when he put that dope in charge. I should have been the one. Dagwood has seniority. It's too bad he hasn't got a head to go with it. I'm going out. You see, I find a janitor. He should have a key. Let's give him five more minutes. Oh, no. Suppose Mr. Dithers calls and there's no one in the office to answer the phone. We'd all get fired. I'm going for the janitor right now. Oh, Ollie. Everybody. Morning. <laughs> it's almost noon. Yeah, well, I fell asleep on the bus and made two round trips. <sighs> Is there anything wrong, Dagwood? Nothing that a good night's sleep wouldn't cure. <sighs> uh, say, men, uh, go right into my office. We're going to have a little pep talk. Look who's going to give us a pep talk. Ah, mm. uh, men, you're making a mistake. <laughs> This is my office now, remember? <laughs> you too, Ollie. Oh, uh, Mary. Uh, did you type up those notes that Mr. Dithers left for me? Got them right here, Dagwood. Mm -hmm. And here are three blank checks he signed. Three? Well, I only need one for the payroll. Uh, what are the other two for? Well, they're in case of emergency. You know, if you have to pay cash for materials or something. Oh, right. Take good care of them, Dag. They're signed. <laughs> if anybody found them, they could really make it tough for the company. No, I understand, Mary. Okay, Dag. Oh, uh, Mary. Uh, for the next two weeks, uh, would you mind calling me Mr. Bumstead? Why, sure. Why, sure, Dag. <laughs> Certainly, Mr. Bumstead. Hey, thanks, Mary. Uh, 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 now, Ben. Uh, mm. During Mr. Dithers' absence, I want you all to stay alert. On the job, and uh, wide awake. Because, oh, um, oh. As I was saying, man, uh, what was I saying? You were saying we should all stay awake. The office is no place for sleeping. Yeah, you're perfectly right, Ollie, perfectly right. Now, <sighs> Now, men, as you all know, Mr. Dennis practically closed the, the uh, Toby Enterprise deal before he left. And their representatives been in the office uh, in a day now. Now, as soon as they give us the location of their stores, 
We'll get busy on the plans and specifications of the, the, uh, the, 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 the blueprints. Now, the first thing I've got to do is get him to sign the contract. So, uh, keep on your toes, man. Keep on your toes now. Should we wake him up? Our executive is fast asleep. He must have had a tough night. Mm. You wouldn't catch me falling asleep if I was in charge. I'd see to it that I get... That, uh... I'm Toby Crichton. I represent the Toby Enterprises. Oh, Toby Enterprises? Yes. Oh. Are you Mr. Dithers? Well, well Mr. no. Mr. Dithers is out of town. Oh, no. But I'm sure our Mr. Bumstead could take care of you. Mr. Bumstead? He's in charge while Mr. Dithers is away. Oh, I'm sure you'll like him. He's such a wide-awake young man. If you'll step this way, Miss Clifton. Just a minute, Ollie. Don't you think I ought to wake him? <laughs> don't you think I should announce you? Oh, don't bother. Mr. Bumstead's expecting Miss Clifton. This way, please. Is this the wide-awake young man you spoke of? Yeah, that's him. Dagwood. Uh, uh, I mean, Mr. Bumstead. Dag. Oh, Dag. eight four is twelve. Put on two. Uh -huh. This is Miss Clifton of the Toby Enterprise. Oh, glad to know you, Miss Enterprise. Uh, How do you do? Won't you have a cigar? Uh, no, I mean, won't you have a chair? <laughs> yeah. right. oh. oh, there. Thank you. Well, I hope I didn't give you the wrong impression of a J.C. Dithers Construction Company. You see, I uh, I was up all night working, and uh, I understand perfectly, Mr. Bumstead. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> Now, um, yeah. did you want something, Ollie? Oh, oh no, not a thing, no. <clears throat> well, then I will buzz for you if I need you. <coughs> oh. <laughs> now, Miss Clifton, <laughs> uh, now uh, about the four stores you intend to build, Miss Clifton. They're shops, Mr. Bumstead, beauty shops. Oh, I should have known that you were associated with something like that, <laughs> because you're so, uh, you're so, uh... Well, thank you very much. Oh, not at all. <laughs> oh, yes, now, getting back to the uh, stores you intend to build, uh, the shops, <laughs> uh, have you decided on their locations? Oh, yes, mm -hmm. I have them all selected. Mm. Well, now, if you'll just give me the addresses, I will look them over personally. Wouldn't it be better if I uh, show them to you uh, personally? <laughs> Well, uh, uh, huh? Oh, uh, yes, I think that'll be all right. Uh, I have my car outside. Oh? After you've taken a look at the property, we can stop uh, off at some nice restaurant and have lunch. Oh, uh, that'll be uh, fine. <laughs> is hoping our association will be a great success. I'll drink to that. Are you sure you wouldn't like something a little stronger than that? Oh, no, no. I have to get right to the office and get my men working on your plans. Mr. Jivis must have a great deal of faith in you to trust you with his entire business. Hmm. Well, I don't know about the faith, <laughs> but there's no doubt about his trusting me. Hmm. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Blank and all signed. In the wrong hands, they could be very costly to Mr. Dithers. <laughs> Can you imagine what would happen to Mr. Dithers if uh, I wasn't honest? Well, of course, that all depends on how much money he has in his checking account. <laughs> There's plenty there. Don't worry. <laughs> well, some of my employees have been with me ever since I started in business, but uh, I wouldn't tempt them to that extent. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I've uh, dropped some crackers in my soup accidentally. But I may as well eat it. <laughs> Herbert, hmm? look who's over there. Over where? Shh, not so loud. Over there in that booth. <laughs> Oh, 
It's Blumstead. Even without my glasses, I can see that's not Blondie. Uh, what a dish. <laughs> I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> yeah, still waters run deep, I always say. <laughs> I wonder what Blondie would say if she knew... Now, what Harriet. Was. It's none of our business who he has lunch with. It's probably some sort of business associate. <laughs> Listen, my dear, if you breathe one word of this to Blondie, I'll knock your brains out. Me tell Blondie? Herbert Woodley, you know very well that's the last thing I'd ever do. Oh, I wouldn't believe a word of it, Mrs. Simmons. Of course, Dagwood's in bed asleep, so it's too late to ask him anything about it. Oh, naturally, it's idle gossip. Oh, don't you worry. If Dagwood did anything wrong, I'm sure he'd tell me himself. Yes. Goodbye, Mrs. Simmons. Look what I have. Oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, I gotta go. So long, Mom. So long, son. So long, kids. So long, Goodbye, Pop. Cookie. Bye. Remember to come straight home from school this afternoon. No dilly-dallying. Yes, Mommy. <laughs> you were too tired to tell me anything last night, but how were things yesterday at the office? All right. Did anything exciting happen? Mm, nothing to speak of, no. Where'd you have lunch yesterday? In the restaurant. Hello? Uh-huh. Uh I, uh... Oh, no, um... I had, uh, uh, lunch with a client. Oh? What was the client's name? Oh, a Toby something or other, uh, Toby Clifton. Toby? That's an odd name, isn't it? I've never heard of a man with that name. Oh, sure you have. Toby Jinx, he, wa he was the usher at our wedding. Don't you remember? Oh! Yes. Sure. <laughs> well, uh, was this Toby, um... Uh, what? Uh, oh, have some more syrup on your pancakes, dear. I'll go get you some more coffee. Woodley, Woodley. Hi, Alvin. Hi. New uniform? Brand new today. How do you like it? Pretty keen. <laughs> you heard about the new man down the street? New man? Bumstead. Yesterday, he walked leisurely out of the house, passed me like a gentleman, and continued on his way. I never even brushed my sleeve. He's running the office for two weeks. Could be he's assuming an air of dignity that befits his position. Hmm? <laughs> you think so, huh? On the other hand, being his own boss, he can get to the office any time he wants. Maybe that's it. Well, whatever it is, it's okay by me. <laughs> Has he left for the office yet? I haven't seen him. Well, come on down and watch this. You'll never believe it unless you saw it with your own eyes. Wait till I give these letters tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Darling, I have a wonderful surprise for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is it? Well, mm -hmm. close your eyes and you'll see. Mm -hmm. How can I see if I close my eyes? Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know what I mean. Come on, close your eyes. Okay, here goes. All right, now you can open your eyes. Huh? Well, where is it? Well, there it is, right there in front of you. That? What am I going to do with that old thing? How can you call that an old thing? Hmm? That's the one I gave you the first day you went to work for Mr. Dithers. <laughs> yeah, but, 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 but... You used I... to carry your lunch with you then, and you're going to do so again today. <laughs> I'm not going to have you eating any more of that restaurant food. Oh, oh, oh no, no, Blondie. Well, I fixed you a wonderful lunch, everything you like. Yeah, yeah, but I'm a big executive now, and they'd all laugh at me. Do they laugh at that famous statesman in Washington who carries a sandwich with them and eats it on a park bench? 
Yeah, but he's a big man. He can get away with it. You're a big man, too. A very big man. I am, huh? <laughs> well, you know you are. And speaking of taking your lunch to the office, one of our presidents always ate his lunch at his desk. He did? In that way, he could give more time to his country. Oh, oh I, I, I get your point. And if I take my lunch to the office, then I'd have more time to give to Mr. Dithers, huh? Exactly. Oh. <laughs> and speaking of time, uh -huh. you'd better hurry or you'll miss your bus. Oh, I've got a lot of time. I've got about a minute and a half. <laughs> I... Wasn't hot soup. I'll go in the house and get something to wipe you off. Oh dear. Lucky, she says. <laughs> so he's a changed man, huh? He's changed, yep. Right back to his old tricks. There's only one way to lick this whole situation, Alvin, and I'm gonna do it. Quit your job? I'm gonna deliver his mail late at night. On my own time, after he's in bed asleep. It's the only way, Alvin. The only way. Dithers Construction Company. I'm sorry, sir. Mr. Dithers is out of town. Would you like to speak to our Mr. Bumstead? Bumstead. B-U-M-S-T-E-A-D. Bumstead. I'm sorry, sir, but I assure you it's a real name. You say the name does what? Well, of course, that's only one man's opinion. Bumstead in? Yes, I'll tell him you're here. Oh, don't bother. Hello? Huh? Oh! Hello, Miss Clifton. Well, won't you sit down? No, thanks. Huh? Oh, I'm so disappointed. I thought perhaps we could have lunch together to talk over the contract. You know, I'm anxious to get it settled. Oh, well, um, I have plenty here. <laughs> Won't you join me? <laughs> See, I have sandwiches and tomatoes and coleslaw. Here, you can have half of my apple, too. <laughs> here. Here. <laughs> here, you can have it all. <laughs> it's very kind of you offering to share your lunch, but uh, I prefer the atmosphere of a nice, quiet restaurant. You know, more deals have been consummated over a luncheon table than in an office. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I realize that, Miss Clifton. I, uh, come in. Blondie called and asked me to be sure and see that you got your milk. Oh, <laughs> uh, thanks, Mary. Uh, Blondie, uh, that's my wife, Mrs. Bumstead. Oh, so you're married. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, that's her picture right there. Oh, cute. Very cute. Mm -hmm. Have you any children? Mm -hmm. Two, a little boy and a little girl. Isn't that lovely? Uh -huh, yeah. I'm so glad you're a married man. Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> married men are much more reliable when it comes to business. Well, I'd, they are. Are you sure you won't change your mind about having lunch with me? Oh, I, I'd love to, Miss Clifton, but I really shouldn't. Uh, uh, come in. I thought this telegram might be important, Mr. Bumstead. Oh, thanks, Mary. Uh, excuse me, Miss Clifton. Certainly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Has 
Clifton, I've been thinking over what you just said. And the atmosphere of a nice, quiet restaurant is just the place to have lunch. that our association will be a great success for the both of us. I'll drink to that. <coughs> yeah, swallowed the olive. <coughs> and, uh, I think the toothpick, too. <coughs> Madame. Thank you. Monsieur. Oh, thank you. Huh? Do you wish to order, monsieur? Uh, order? Oui, monsieur. Oh, uh, oui, oui. Would you rather have me order? I thought perhaps you might be a little rusty on your French. Uh, rusty? Oh, French was one of my favorite subjects in college. Would you like to hear me sing the Marseillaise? Mm -hmm. I sing it just like a Frenchman. Allons-y, fondi la poitrine, je n'ai les pots de l'ivoire, je n'ai les pots de Not now. No? Sing it later. Oh. <laughs> Don't forget to remind me. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, your order, oh, monsieur? Oh, your order. Let me see now. Uh, uh, perhaps I had better order first. Yeah. I'll have some uh, vichyssois. It's very excellent to deal with. Uh, sole uh, à la millionaire. Uh -huh. Crepe Suzette and uh, café au lait. You, monsieur? Uh, oh, uh, <clears throat> uh, would you uh, bring me some of that and some of that and some of that? You want baked potato, boiled potatoes, and mashed potatoes? Oh, oh yes, I'm just crazy about potatoes. <laughs> you want something to go with it, Monsieur? Oh, oh yes, something to go with it. Uh, oh, um, I'll uh, have that well done. That you cannot have, Monsieur. <laughs> All out of it, huh? <laughs> no, Monsieur. That is the manager. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am uh, still waiting, monsieur. Oh, yes. Well, bring me one of those Powlett sandwiches on right toast. Come on. Uh, no, come on. Just a little mustard, huh? <laughs> what kind of... Uh, uh, Powlett. Powlett. Mick, 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 mick. He means... Uh, he means a poulet sandwich. A oh, poulet sandwich. Yeah, poulet. Powlett. <laughs> Powlett. Are you sure you wouldn't care for another cocktail while we're waiting? Oh, no. If I had another one of those, I wouldn't be able to talk sense, and we're supposed to talk about that contract. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's talk about it. Yeah. Yeah? Oh. Uh, <clears throat> when do you uh, think you'll sign it? Today. Uh, you will? <laughs> Have you got the contract? Uh, well, here. You can use my pen. You're cute. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Here. Later. Oh, well, there's no time like the present, they say. Here. The contract is at my hotel. We'll uh, sign it there. Oh, that'll be nice. <laughs> at your hotel? Oh, well, uh, I... Don't worry. I, I don't um, think... I'm not dangerous. <laughs> It's a little warm in here. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Do you mind if I get into something cooler and uh, more comfortable? Oh, I, I was... Uh, I won't be long. Oh, well, uh, uh, why don't you sign the contract and then do that? <laughs> see, I, I should get back to the office and see how the boys are coming along with your plans. <laughs> I want to be sure of a couple of things before I sign the contract. Oh, well, if, if you want some changes made, I'd be very happy. Uh, who said I wanted anything changed? 
Oh. <laughs> Make yourself comfortable. You'll find a drink over there and some cigars in the humidor. Ah. I won't be long. because Daddy's a very busy man. But he'd be terribly hurt if we didn't drop in on him while he's running the office. Now, don't forget to tell him how important he looks sitting behind Mr. Dither's desk. Oh, we won't, Mom. Okay. Hello, Ollie. Hello, Bunny. Hello, Mary. Bumpkin. Don't announce us. We're going to surprise but him. But he's at lunch. I really... Oh, then we timed it correctly, didn't we? I'll pay for the milk on my way out. But... Your mouth's open. Be sure you keep yours shut. Daddy's not here, Mommy. He's probably in one of the other offices. Come on. He isn't in his office. Do you know where he is, Mary? Well, I tried to tell you, Mrs. Bumstead. He's having lunch. Oh, but his lunch is there on his desk. He hasn't even touched it. He's out having lunch with a client. A very important client. Oh, well, as long as he's eating, it's all right, I guess. How long has he been gone? Oh, almost an hour. He ought to be back any minute now. Why don't you tell her the truth? Ollie. What do you mean, Ollie? Oh, Blondie, I hate to see you being made a fool of. Made a fool of? Well, it's true. Dagwood's out with the client, and it's also true that she's important. But she doesn't have to. She? Uh, oh, didn't you know? Children, go over there and sit on the bench. Well, go on, Ollie. Explain to me how Dagwood is making a fool of me. Oh, it didn't amount to anything. I shouldn't have mentioned it. Maybe I... Oh, go on, Ollie. Oh, well, Blondie, uh, I don't think it's necessary for Dagwood to have lunch with this uh, uh, Miss Clifton every day. All he has to do is to have her sign the contract. Mm. Mr. Dithers did all of his business in the office, so why can't Dagwood? Well, it's true, this girl has a pretty face and a trim ankle, but if you ask me, I would I'm not asking you, Ollie. Oh. Whatever Dagwood is doing, he's doing for the good of the firm, I'm sure of that. He's not interested in pretty faces or trim ankles. What's more, I doubt if he's ever even noticed them the way you obviously have. Oh, no, I never did. You had an idea Mr. Dithers was going to put you in charge, didn't you, Ollie? No, no. If you ask me, it's a case of sour grapes. Why, Blondie, I... Don't tell Dad what I was here, Mary. I'll surprise him some other day. All right, Mrs. Bumstead. Come along, children. Why well, didn't you say anything of... You ought to be ashamed of yourself trying to get Dagwood in trouble, when all he's trying to do is put bread in that big blabbermouth of yours. Why, right now, he's probably chasing that Miss Clifton all over the place, trying to get her signature on that contract. Uh, now, now, please, Miss Clifton. Oh, call me Toby. Well, it, 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 OK, Toby. Now, I said it. Now, will you sign the contract so I can get out of here, please? Not yet. Now, now. Blondie! Oh, no. Stop shouting. Well. <laughs> Listen, sit down and act like a human being. Yeah, well, I don't want to act like a human being. All right, then I won't sign the contract. Yeah, well, if I sit down, will you sign? Okay. Yeah. Isn't that better? Ah. Uh, now, about the contract. Yes, well, uh, not too close, Miss Clifton. It is getting kind of warm. All right. I'll stay right here if you'll promise to. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. you're right. It, it is too warm. I, I think I'm going to faint. Oh, oh no. no, 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 Miss Clifton. Wait a minute. Now wait. Are you all right, Miss Toby? Miss Clifton, uh, lady, Miss, Miss. Huh? Well. Huh? Ain't this a fine kettle of fish? Uh, no, 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 it isn't. Uh, this is Miss Toby Clifton. You don't have to tell me her name. Uh, I'm her husband. Oh, that's it. 
Oh. You're not getting out of here, bub, till I find what goes on with my wife. No, no, nothing goes on. This is a business association. And what was she doing in your arms? Get back there. Now, wait a minute. Oh. Now, now. Adolf. Uh, huh? You didn't expect to see me for two more years, did you, kid? Well, I got time off for good behavior. Who's this punk? It, oh. No I guns, know. bub. Well, uh, this is Mr. Bumstead. He's a builder. He's going to do some work for me. Going to? It, Looks to me like he's already started. Yeah? Uh -huh. You must be slipping, kid, to get mixed up with a sap like this. But sap or no sap, he'll fit my purpose perfectly. What do you mean? What do I mean? I'm divorcing you, kid. Oh. And he's my grounds. I'll smear your pictures over every newspaper in this town. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't do that to this boy, Adolf. No, please He's a don't. respectable married man with children. Yeah. It'll ruin his life. Oh. <laughs> Adolf, I'll pay you anything you want, anything, if you'll only go away and not breathe a word of this to a soul. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now, now, now wait, wait a minute, Miss Clifton. I, I wasn't doing anything wrong, honest. You, you just fainted and, and... You keep out of this. Yeah? She wants to pay me off? That's her business. Yeah, yeah but... Shut up! But, 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 but you but... don't know him like I do. He wouldn't stop at anything. He wouldn't? All right. How much money do you want? Five grand? Huh? Come around in the morning. My money won't be transferred from New York until tomorrow. Uh-uh. Right now, while I got you here, red-handed. Uh -oh. Huh? Can I see you in the other room a moment? Well, uh, <laughs> is it all right with him? Go ahead. But remember, I'm not staying here all day. All right. Thank you. Huh? Oh, no. I, I, yeah, but Miss Clifton, listen, listen, well, you don't have to pay him to keep quiet. I was here on legitimate business, and I can prove it. Well, maybe you can, but look at the awful publicity you'll get. Yeah. Think of your wife and children. Yeah. Do you know what he was in jail for this time? No. For killing a man. Ah? Uh -huh. Do you know why he killed him? No. Because the man interfered when he beat me. Well, I didn't interfere with him. <laughs> He's beaten me dozens of times. Well, maybe I'd better have a little talk. No. Huh? I thought I was through with him for good this time. But he's huh? found me again. Well... Let me give him the money, Dagwood. It's the only way. Well, you know best, I suppose. But $5,000 is a lot of money. I'll never miss it. Well, in that case... I... Yeah, but he wants the money today, right now. Well, that's what I wanted to speak to you about. Yeah, oh? Do you still have the blank checks Mr. Divis gave you? Oh, oh I wouldn't be without them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I, 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 I'm supposed I'll to... I'll give it back to you the first thing in the morning. Oh, well, I, I, I don't... Mr. Divis told you not to leave a stone unturned. You told me that yourself. Yeah, that's true. Do but you I... want him to beat me again? Oh, oh, of course not, but... Well, then let me have the money, Dagwood. It's only a loan, and you'll get it back as soon as the bank opens. Oh, well, I, I, I don't... Uh... I, I, I... Yeah. Huh? Make it out to cash. Well, I Please. suppose you said never let a stone be unturned, but Isn't I... That's right. Well... Well, okay. Five thousand... Let me in, please. Go away. I never want to speak to you again. You, you don't have to speak to me, Blondie. Just let me come to bed, huh? You can sleep on the couch in the living room. All right, Blondie. Can I just have some covers, please? Blondie. I told you I'm not talking to you. Well, then let me talk to you. Oh, Blondie, you gotta listen. I, I only went up to her room just to get her to sign the contract. Mr. Dither said, do everything in your power to get it to sign. Leave no stone unturned, he said. And, and that's all I was trying to do, Blondie. Bondy. 
And did she sign? Uh, no. no. Well, she was too upset to sign, Blondie, but she said she'd do it the first thing in the morning. The idea of you giving her one of Mr. Dithers' checks. Oh, I had to, Blondie. If I hadn't, he, he would have beaten her. Beaten her? Yeah, he's beaten her dozens and dozens of times. What for? Well, to get money out of her, I guess. Oh, the horrible man. I'm not so bad, am I, Blondie, when you hear about things like that? You didn't hold her hand? Oh, of course not. And you didn't try to kiss her? Oh, I don't want to kiss anybody but you. Well, all right. I forgive you then. Fill it up and step on it. Yes, sir. I still think you should have cashed that check right away. How could I? The banks were closed. But I got a pal in Cleveland who'll cash it for us. Step on it, will you? Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Mr. Bumstead. Uh, did you hear from Miss Clifton this morning? Not yet. No? There's a Mr. Dutton waiting to see you. Oh? Uh, what does he want to see me about? I'd rather have him tell you. Yeah. Oh. Mr. Bumstead? Uh, yes? Dutton's my name. Oh. Samuel P. Dutton. Glad to know you, Mr. Dutton. What can I do for you? Well, before we talk about plans and specifications, uh -huh. uh, you better have this. What's this? A signed contract. What contract? The one Mr. Divers wanted me to sign. Huh? You, uh, you are Mr. Bumstead, aren't you? Oh, that's me. <laughs> and you are the one that Mr. Divers left in charge? Mm, you bet I am. Mm -hmm. Didn't he tell you anything about the Toby Enterprise deal? Oh, yes, Miss Clifton is going to sign that contract this morning. Oh. <laughs> Miss who? Uh, Toby Clifton. She's the owner of Toby Enterprises. That's news. Huh? I'm the owner of Toby Enterprises. Oh, you can't be. <laughs> I can't, eh? Huh? You better take a look at that contract. Huh? Oh, no. Oh, oh yeah? No, no, no. No. No, Mary! Hello, Mary! 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 No, no, Mary! Hello? Mary, uh, will you... Will, will you get, get me the, uh, the Crescent Hotel? Strangest way to do business, I would... Oh. And hello, Crescent Hotel? Uh, connect me with Miss Clifton, please. She's what? Huh? She checked out? Oh. Oh. Get some water. Get a doctor. Bumstead's passed out. Crying over spilt milk, Dagwood. It's done and it can't be undone. Now, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Mr. Dithers will put me in jail for sure. Mr. Dithers need know nothing about it. With $5,000 going out of his bank account? And how will we keep it from him? Must I go all over that again? Oh, yeah. Will you please, Blondie, please? All right. Now, listen carefully. Yeah, I'm listening. Go ahead. Tomorrow morning, I'll go to the bank and I'll get a loan on the house. I'm sure I can get $5,000. No, dear, I'd never forgive myself if you had to do that. Oh, there must be some other way. There's no other way. Huh? Oh, haven't we been in tight jams before? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And haven't we always come out on top? Yeah. Remember what that famous man said? Yeah, don't cry when you spill your milk. Yes. You must be tired. You better go to bed and get some sleep. Come on. Yeah. Oh, there's no use going to bed. I'll never go to sleep. Well, you can try. There you are. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll go quietly. Whereas you, Dagwood Bumstead, did deliberately and feloniously conspire to deprive, cheat, and embezzle the sum of $5,000 from one J.C. Dithers? 
You have therefore been adjudged guilty by a jury of your peers. Have you anything to say before this court passes sentence upon you? Edward Bumstead, I sentence you to 103 years of hard labor. 103 years? What's it three for? Three percent tax. Take him away. No! 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 Oh, my God. 
doggy. Stop that. Let me find this belt. Go. terrible dream. Oh, I dreamt I was in jail and the bloodhound was after me and they had a hold of my throat. <laughs> throat. Oh, dear, oh. Well, do. <coughs> dear. Excuse me. Oh, oh, Blondie. Blondie, do, do you believe in dreams? Oh, well, they're usually just the opposite. Uh, but now you come on, go back to sleep. Yeah. You've got a big day tomorrow. Yeah. Come on now, get in it's all right, darling. Okay. Close Good night, dear. Good night, darling. Good night. There, there we are. Oh, um. dear. Oh. Come on, Daisy. Come on. Go on, you two. Take your children and go to bed. Come on, kid. Everybody in. Come on, Daisy. Get down in your basket. Good night. Get it, dear. Okay. Oh, dear. Oh. Hello. Hello, Blondie. This is Mr. Dithers. I'd like to speak to Dagwood. So what? Wake him up. This is important. Yes, Mr. Dithers. Oh, dear. Dear. Hiya, Joe. Hi. You working late tonight? Nah, don't call it work. It's more of a pleasure, John. Oh, you mind if I go with you? Not at all. Come on. Oh, I don't want to talk to him. Oh, stop acting foolish. You've got to talk to him. Now, come on. Yeah, yeah, shh. Wait a minute. Suppose he found out about the check. Well, how could he? It hasn't gone through the bank yet. Yeah, well, tell him I've gone out of town. Tell him I'm dead. I might as well be. Now, Dagwood, right. the man is talking on long distance. You've got to talk oh, to him. Oh, no, come on. No, no, no. Dagwood, don't be a nincompoop. You've got to talk to him. Yeah, but... Here he is, Mr. <clears throat> Dither. Shh! Oh. <laughs> hello. Hello, Mr. Dithers. Dagwood, did you cash any of those checks I left for you? That did it. What is it? He wants to know about the checks. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh. What did... <coughs> what did you say, Mr. Dittis? Homestead, did you cash any of those checks I left for you? I... Oh, dear. Uh, why, 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 no, Mr. Dittis. I didn't cash any of the checks. Uh, personally. Good. I didn't realize what I was doing when I left those checks. They're worthless. I closed my account in that bank months ago. What was that? Did you drop something? Dagwood! Goodbye, Mr. Dithers. Oh, Dagwood, what did he say? Tell me. Oh, Barney, we're saved. We're saved. We're saved for what? Those checks are worthless. Mr. Dithers doesn't have any money in that bank. Oh, darling, how wonderful. Didn't I tell you everything would turn out all right? Yeah. I did. Here, now, huh? you stand there. I'll, I'll go get you a drink of water. Yeah. Now, stay there. Yeah. So you decided that delivering his mail late at night was the only solution, huh? No more bumps, no more bruises, no more liniment, no more nothing. <laughs> Besides that, the exercise is doing me a world of good. I used to eat a big meal and sit and listen to the radio all night. You know, just walking behind is making a new man out of me. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I can see that. Well, this is as far as I go. I'll be seeing you. Bye, Joe. Oh, thanks, dear. Uh, well, now maybe we can get a little sleep. Mm -hmm. 
All our worries are over. <laughs> oh! Oh! Huh? Oh, that still needs some tax. Yeah. Tax. How about your income tax, dear? Oh, that's all finished, too. I'll mail it tomorrow. Oh, but today's the 15th. If it isn't in the mail by midnight, you'll be fine. What? Oh, well, well, well then I'd better get some clothes on. Oh, no, go the way you are. They pick up the mail at 11.15, and it's almost that now. Hurry. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Look out! Look out! Let me alone! 